What's happening, everyone? Welcome back to Clever TV. I'm Jocelyn Davis in the studio with Cody Smith McPhee. Welcome. What's up? Now, you are a busy guy. You have literally just jetted back from New York City. What were you doing out there? Um, I was doing a film called A Birder's Guide to Everything with uh, Ben Kingsley. That's and um, it's basically an homage to Stand By Me and The Goonies, and it's like a, it's a bird watching film. So we go on a little adventure and have a bit of fun. So now when you look outside, are you like, oh, that's a sparrow, that's a I wish, no, crow. this is this is the thoughts that go through my head. I look out the window and I see a bird, and I'm like, oh my God, that's awesome. I wish I knew the name of that, because I, I didn't go deep that deep into research. Apparently it takes years to know all the birds. It does, it's quite the art, so my grandparents tell me. Oh, so they're I'm birders? Told. Yeah, they are. Fellow birders, yeah, so there give you this go. movie to them. And also you have a movie in theaters, Paranorman, which I know we've been covering did so well at the box office. You're rocking your shirt. Tell me what this experience was like because I noticed on your Twitter page, yes. you said you worked on this movie for two years. It's like your baby, you put it out there. Oh, you read that? Of course. Very nice. I do my research. I have to follow you. Um, <laughs> yeah, it is. It, it's all of our baby. It's, it's all of our babies. That, does that make sense? You all have one baby. It's all, it's out. We all made this baby. <laughs> now it's getting weird. Uh, okay, so I was 14 when I started working on it. And, um, you know, obviously my voice is really high and also I wanted to do a, a character voice because I'd, I'd never done one before. That's what I was so excited about. My plan was to, you know, uh, put on this voice and then after people see the movie, they come up to me and say, hey, can you do the paranormal voice? Yeah. And I'll do it, but I can't anymore because my voice dropped halfway oh. through it. Well, it was definitely worth it. It must have been so exciting to work with the team that was behind Coraline because that was such an incredible film as well. Coraline was actually one of my most, like, the, my favorite stop motion movies. And that stop motion is so rare, so to work on this and be a part of the whole family, it was amazing. And I really had a passion for what I was doing. And then when I went to Portland and saw them all doing the, uh, the stop motion and creating the characters, there was like 40,000 faces. It was amazing. So it really is an art. It's I was, so incredible. I was so happy to be working on it. Now the message of the film is also really inspiring. I love that it, I think it said something about, you know, you can't be normal to do something or to become a hero, mm -hmm. basically. You, 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 what does it say on my back there? Oh yeah, there you go. You don't become a hero by, by being, being normal. normal, bam. There we go. So yeah, you don't become a hero by being normal. And also, um, the grandma says in the movie, it's okay to be scared, Norman, as long as you don't let it change who you are. So it's basically, there's a lot of layers and underlying stories there of saying, you know, standing up for yourself, staying true to who you are, and, um, you know, if you stay true to who you are and, you know, get through the bullying or whatever the problem is in your mm -hmm. life, you're going to become that person who you're supposed to be. So how did you connect with your character? Was there anything that you had in common you thought with him? Well, yeah, he was, the main thing is that he was different and he was teased because he was different and I feel like we all strive to be different and bullying can be an act of jealousy because, you know, that person's different. So I feel like if you're different, that's, that's a really great gift. And I was different in school because I was an actor and it's just, it's just what I loved. I didn't want to be, you know, spending my life in an office every day in a nine to five job. I think if anyone can express themselves in an art, music, anything, and you can, you know, live off that, that's amazing. That's what I wanted to do, so. And I think that's why people are really enjoying the movie, and it also has an incredible cast. Mm -hmm. But the crazy thing is, a lot of the times on these movies where you're voice acting, you don't get, get to meet to each other it. until maybe the red carpet yeah. premiere. In fact, I did. It was really, I don't know, awkward, but it was just weird. <laughs> I, I met Leslie Mann, and... Um, Who plays your character's mom yes, in the movie. Yes, and I met her, and I was just like, hey, uh, I'm your son. And it was a really cool little moment there. Um, but I did, I worked with Anna Kendrick, who plays my sister, Courtney. Um, she's hilarious, by the way. Yeah, she is amazing at the voice acting, by the way. I just watched that, and she's great. Um, Tucker, who plays um, Neil. Mm -hmm. And um, Christopher Mintz Plus, who plays Alvin, the bully. Mm -hmm. So it was, it, that was the really kind of scenes that we needed to be together. So you see that on the screen. And it's also, get this people, the first time ever there's been a zombie chase in stop motion. Exactly. Sign me up. In fact, I think there's a first for a lot of things in this movie. Mm -hmm. In fact, they said that they did everything you're not supposed to do in stop motion. And that's making characters with fat necks, and because uh, apparently they're really hard to animate. Oh, I see. And they had the riot, um, and that was apparently a terrifying thing to animate, so it did amazing. Yeah, it looks beautiful, and it's in theaters now, as I mentioned. So for people who haven't seen it, why would you really encourage them to get out there and see it? Well, I think it's PG, so a parent should go with the child. Mm -hmm. And for the child, it's a fun adventure movie, and it's kind of like, 
Scooby-Doo and uh, I don't know, it's just a great fun adventure movie and it's a bit sad as well. But then I think for the adults, it, there's actually more in it for them. You see the underlying story of bullying and staying true to who you are and I think that's good for the kids as well. So it's just a very layered film but basically just a lot of fun. Yeah, fun for the whole family. And you know, I have this list here of all of the projects you have coming up or in production. You are really busy. I'm pretty busy. So thanks for coming by. That's fine. <laughs> Appreciate it. I'm going to the beach now. This is a good day. Okay, good. In fact, the weather, uh, not looking like a beach day, but it's, it's... Hopefully it'll clear up. It will. I'll um, be there for a few days. So coming up soon, Romeo and Juliet, which you shot in Italy. Another incredible cast. Iconic story, obviously. You play Benvolio. What yep. was that like, bringing such a important story to life again. Next to Paranorman, that was my favorite film to shoot. Why do you um, say? Because it was like, it was in Italy, so that was just amazing anyway. Um, but I got to learn to horse ride, um, put my martial arts to work with sword fighting. Um, I got to learn how to do this weird Renaissance dance, and it was just a really like method film. And we were in the costumes, it was just amazing. It felt like I was really in the moment. Of Any silly outtakes doing the sword fighting or the horseback riding? Uh, yes, definitely the horse riding. <laughs> and there was some time, like at the start of the film, the horse didn't like me at all. We uh -huh. didn't have a good relationship and it just wouldn't listen to me. And I'm trying to be all epic with my Assassin's Creed cape on and like it's just, <laughs> so it didn't really work out. But by the end of it, I had a good relationship and uh, I really miss it now. Oh man, and you got to work with, yet again, another incredible cast. Yeah. Haley Steinfeld, Ed Westwick. What was it like working with Ed Westwick specifically? Is he like his character on Gossip Girl? I don't really watch that, but I <laughs> assume okay. he's intense and a badass because that's what he is in that and he's just like, he just walks on set and it's like he doesn't try to be cool, he just is cool. He's just like, here I am. Yeah, yeah. He's just, I just wish he was like me. Oh yeah, well you're, I mean, hello, you have a few years. Until I got a few years. I got, I got a few years age. for this jaw to come in. Oh, yeah. that's right, that's yeah. right. Was he pretty good at the horseback riding and sword fighting? Um, he was amazing at sword fighting, actually. He picked it up really fast, and I'm not sure if he did horse riding, but if he did, he was probably amazing at that too. Yeah. Um, now, aside from all this, when you're not working, I know that you have a secret hidden talent that I want to tell our viewers about. Can you guess what it is? Rapping? You are in a, well, is that a talent as well? I don't know, is that a talent? It sure is. Do you want to do a little rap right now? I couldn't do a rap. Yo, they're a little yo. bit. They're a little bit deep. <laughs> they're pretty deep. Oh, okay. No, you're an incredible dancer. Ah, yeah. Forgot Dead about step. that. I'm sorry. Forgot about that. You have so many talents. Um, I, I, I saw Step Up basically, and then I looked it up on YouTube, and then I started looking at uh, all this like kind of robot dancing, I guess, and then dubstep was like mainstream, mm -hmm. and then I got obsessed with that, and I kind of merged the two and taught myself, and now I love to dance. Oh, yeah. Would you ever like to bring your dancing to the big screen? I would love to. If they did another dancing movie, I would totally be up for that. Step up five. Because people don't know that I can dance. Right here. They, they see no. like, they see these very deep dramatic movies and they're like, all right, he must be a deep kid. But no, I'm just like, I love to skateboard, dance, make music. Well, also in your dancing videos, you wear a mask or a, yeah. a hoodie a lot, so you can't really see your face. Yeah, I love I love that kind of stuff. Sort of your alter ego. Coda, exactly. right? Is Coda. The name you go by. Coda Specs is my rap name. So aside from rapping, dancing, acting, just being a cool guy, Thanks. you also like to skateboard. Yeah. So I just so happened to have had this in my office for quite some time and I thought, you know, Cody Smith McPhee needs this in his life. <laughs> and it's also a work of art. So right. I'm gonna give this to you. Did you draw this? I did. Um, I just wanna go ahead and show it to you now. Wow. It's so artistic. You really, you should start, I tell you what, Hipsters, they love stuff that's different. I can see this in Urban Outfitters. Can you? Or American Apparel, something. Thank you so much. And it's perfectly fitting for you because it is a beach scene. Was up. Was up. Sun <laughs> saying hi with a bone. So this is, <laughs> what's it, is this your uh, Yes, my here? art name is Jocelyn Davis Inchy. This is just, mm -hmm. uh, black. And then it's got black, uh, is this black waves? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's it's a commentary on I'm gonna actually not something. use this. You're not? I'm well, you're gonna, welcome to if you in want. In a nice way, I'm gonna put it up on my wall with my other skateboards. Wow, Yeah. cool. Well, hey, I'm glad that you're gonna enjoy it. This is perfect timing that you were here today. I'm tweeting that. Tweet it out. 
Everybody out there watching, make sure to go check out Cody right now in theaters, Paranorman. You will not be disappointed. And of course, we will be keeping you posted on all of his many, many projects. Yes, and I'll follow you on Twitter and I'll Please do. And what's your talk, Twitter talk. name, by the way? Oh, my Twitter name is because someone stole my real name. It's uh, Cody Smith McPhee with three E's. So okay. people are like, that's weird, you got three E's in your name. No, it just got stolen, so. Oh, well. I'm working on that. I'm trying to get verified, people. Okay. So just well, we'll that. let them know as well. Thank you so much for coming by. I know you're a busy guy. We it's appreciate fine. it. I'm not busy today. This is my weekend. Okay, well, enjoy yourself. Have some fun. I will. Thank All you right. so much. And you guys out there, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time right here on Clever TV. Bye. Bye, guys.